look, obviously this is a purpose-built race car with a lot of one-off stuff, which is makes it super cool. But as far as those basic guys that are just thinking, hey, do I want a Godzilla swap? Is it right for me? What's involved with it? What's your best? Power itself, did you guys get to dyno this engine like before you kind of got into yep. it? What kind of numbers were you getting there? So we've actually went through three motors working on oh, this no. whole package. Oh. Um, so again, it's development, right? So we're trying yeah, to push stuff to sure. the edge and figure out what the limiting factors are. So right now, it seems like the rockers are kind of the, the limiting factor. Ah, uh, okay. Um, now is but, that RPM or power? Yeah, high yeah. RPM stuff. Okay. So you're good for, like right now, we have this set at 7,000 7, RPM as uh, okay. the rev limiter, um, and that's plenty. So right now I'm full boost of 14 PSI with the supercharger. It's making uh, 1050 to the tire. Nice. Um, what's cool about this car is we're actually using the Pro Charger F1 series supercharger, but then running a secondary throttle body. So what this allows us to do is basically have boost control within uh, the supercharger. So okay. here uh, we basically are bleeding air to atmosphere. So on the steering wheel, I have four different selectors basically 25% power all the way up to 100% power. So wow. being able to control stuff is really important, especially like on autocross, there's no need to be running a thousand yeah, miles power. Yeah, totally. But on road course applications is. where we're trying to have high speed and um, more higher RPM stuff, the, the higher horsepower. So a couple like freaking amazing things I'm noticing. Obviously the billet cam, I don't know, these are actually valve covers, not a coyote. Those are valve yep. covers. But this freaking intake, dude, that is a work of art. Yeah, so what's cool about this is those coil covers are from Indy Power Products. So, so that's something to kind of up the look of everything um, sure. instead of having the coil packs uh, somewhere else. And then on top of that, they also uh, have uh, coil covers. So you can have them in like 7.3 Godzilla and it's a really ah. cool application. This intake uh, is also super cool for the guys that are running turbos or boost. Uh, it's all billet intake. So the two things with the Godzilla is it's really tall. Mm -hmm. so the, um, the intake from OEM is about two and a half inches taller than this. <laughs> yeah. So and the throttle boy is pointed straight up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So thankfully they've came out with a new out the front uh, throttle body. But uh, this intake also houses an uh, uh, intercooler inside of it. So we're oh, also sweet. cooling the air going in before the motor. So we're able to basically drop 100 degrees of intake temp. to talk about this interior because you guys like this is really cool next level stuff here right um obviously massive trans tunnel is the first thing you notice mm -hmm. but uh just kind of walk us through what all this craziness is yeah so this car again we we designed it to really compete in the optimus ultimate street car challenge okay uh originally for the vintage class unfortunately we got moved to outlaw just because of how radical the car became yeah. but uh uh, with that said, we wanted to have comfort creature or er, creature comforts mm -hmm. inside the vehicle. So it's got a kicker stereo, yeah. uh, Bluetooth, so we can let's <laughs> rock out to uh, um, 80s music all day long. But uh, over here, we're doing a lot of testing on stuff. So controlling the whole motor and everything is Mtron ECU, okay. it's a KV8. Um, it's really nice to be able to, like from a driver's perspective, be able to look at all the data. And again, for this being a test mule, being able to gather all that data all in one place to be able to look at it is really, really helpful. Sure. So, so just real quick, like I wanted to note some of the stuff you may not notice. Like you've got the fender flares on the front and rear, and then uh, is it like what's what's the tire setup? Is it 
So the, the whole Fox body itself has a lot of custom features on it. So we'll just kind of talk about what you were pointing out first. So uh, both the front and rear uh, have custom wide body parts on it. So they're all sheet metal, uh, steel. So we work those in. Nice. Um, one of the main features that I love most is probably the exhaust coming out the side. Yes. Um, <laughs> and honestly, we it was kind of a last minute deal where we were trying to figure out the exhaust routing with the fuel cell in the back and we have a custom three link in the back as well. Oh, so nice. getting all that stuff to fill in was kind of a pain. All right, so obviously the hatch area is crazy. What's What are we looking at here? So the back area, traditionally there's two seats back here. So um, with the exhaust running out the back and a custom three link and big tires, we, we decided to basically cover it all up um, with some custom fabrication. So the whole thing was custom made out of sheet aluminum. Nice. Um, made our own custom wheel wells with carbon inserts kind of matching up the, the tunnel. Uh, and then we made our own custom uh, leather wrap for the entire ah, tire back. That so, looks great. Um, we had Steve Pearson uh, up in Wisconsin at Gold Street Limited do that for us. Uh, but we made all these panels ourselves and fabricated that up. All right guys, so real quick, sorry for which we did our best with the noise and the wind and the lighting and everything, but I had to get this car, dude, you guys, th this car is amazing. It, it really is and here's the thing guys the, what i do as far as you know my company and media company is showing off guys that do this type of stuff with these cars which we do a little bit but that's what i do you know to, to make these take these cars to the next level absolutely you know not not the typical box builds we see we're yep. used to like you know there's, there's no telling what the what is in this car and when people start taking box body builds to that level they have that legacy yeah and you guys have killed it the ingenuity the you know all you know, everything you've done with this car is amazing so i'm honored to shoot it and uh great to meet you guys look forward to seeing what you're doing i'll have his information social media stuff go check him out and uh they're doing big stuff thank you doing big stuff so if you guys if you guys like this please give me a big thumbs up for the foxzilla we'll catch you on the next one oh yeah